people, 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 people. Que passa, sapa, say what they do. Now, people, you know that the topic that has been buzzing all over social media in the news for the last couple of days is that shootout that took place on Trafalgar Road, close to in the vicinity of Devon House. And it was leading from some sort of robbery in Swallowfield. 74 Swallowfield, sorry, Old Hope Road to be specific, at a place called Traveler's Lounge. And I told you that they took out a person. And his name is Robert Fletcher, the businessman. And they took his toll and they took his life. Now, people, I told you that I know Mr. Fletcher. And I knew that era very Familiar with it, Swallowfield, that vicinity, that lane, the lanes, the adjoining lanes. I know a whole lot of persons there. I know most of what is going on down there. Now, people, Mr. Fletcher was taken out by this man, and this is the picture that you see on the screen right now. His name is Richard Green. So, people, I am going to give you the backstory of exactly what took place. Now, the other day on the news, Mr. Fletcher's brother, he said that Mr. Fletcher, Robert Fletcher, was getting all sorts of extortion warning. And when he was getting the warning, he did not know where it was coming from because the people said the name Richie. So now, people, you know that there's a Richie Poe that was recently released out of the big yard, a gangster. From upper Papin area. So when he was getting these calls and the people them I say them want X amount of dollar. He was thinking that it was Richie Poe and his crew because people I did a couple of videos before and I said that most of the mix up that you see going on in Swallowfield Richie Poe is linked to it directly or indirectly. I will do a next video about that one of these days. So anyways, when he was getting these calls, these threats, he thought it was Richie Poe. So he also got a call and the person tell him to send on the gun. Now people, like I said, Robert Fletcher, he knows this Richard Green because he lives in a lane that is right by the business. The lane is called Old Henry Lane. We are speaking about a stone throw down from the business. So therefore, he would not have thought that it was this Richie. Now, people, this Richie has been creating chaos and catastrophe in the era. Him and his friends and his family. An ex-brother named Bobby. However, I will get into that later on into this video. Now, people, like I said, he was getting all sorts of extortion requests. And then, before he lost his life, he got a request that he needs to send on the gun. It was Richie. So like I said, he was thinking that it was Richie Poe because of the history of Richie Poe. However, Richie Poe is taller. Richie Poe is tall. Richie Poe is light skin. This Richie, he is short and he is dark, as you see in the picture. So on the day when Mr. Fletcher lost his life, Richie that got killed by the Poe Poe on Trafalgar Road, he came to the bar, but because Mr. Fletcher was expecting a different Richie, the taller Richie, the brown Richie, Richie Poe, he was caught off guard because based on information or based on facts, it is said that Richie Green, which was the man that got killed by the Poe Poe in the shootout, he came to the bar and Mr. Fletcher saw him, but he did not take any sorts of notice. So therefore... Richie Green went into the bar. Mr. Fletcher basically ignored him because he was looking out for somebody else. And that was when Richie Green, the short, dark one, the criminal element, pounced on him and caught him up in the head. And Mr. Fletcher was taken to the place of recovery. And people, you know the story. Too late was the call. He did not make it. Now, people... I am going to give you a history of this youth named Richie Green, the short one we see on the picture right now. 
Richie has a brother and his name is Bobby. Now Bobby is what you call a wannabe gangster, a wannabe wangster. He was not bad, he was not a bad youth, however, him feel like him bad because I guess of his association or affiliation with Richie, his brother. However, Bobby was not so fortunate. Bobby was conned up two times. Them warned him to leave the era. He did not leave. The third time, them come back for him. The third time was not a charm. It was more of a bad luck. They took him out. And then people, like I said, because of his association, affiliation with Richard, Richie, and other persons in that era, in those lanes. The next family member I am speaking about is father, and I think that his father's name is Glenn. Don't quote me on the name. However, what I am going to tell you, you can quote me. The father was also taken out because of Bobby, because of Richard, because like them say, the whole family seems to be marked for D-E-A-T-H, mostly because of Richard. Now people, based on the information also, it is also said that I think January 11th of 2017, don't quote me on the date, however, the rest of information is 100% accurate. Richard Green, short dark devil, he took out a youth and that youth, aka is sausage, his government name, Huntley Wright. So people we are talking about January 11, 2017, four years ago, he committed that murder. It was known. Everybody in the era knew that it was him. Maybe about two years before he lost his life, before he lost his life in a shootout by the Popo, he was out on bail for the same thing, for slap with somebody else. Some people like me say, this youth, he is a known murderer. He is a known killer. Everybody in the era, in the vicinity, knew that he was a murderer. However, people, it seems as if these people in this garrison, they normalize everything. They make it seem as if it is okay for you to kill somebody. And then you go back home about your merry business. Less than 400 meters down the road, the next lane, 100 meters, if that much. And you act as if nothing went wrong. So therefore, these persons felt as if they had some sort of passport to murder. These persons feel as if them can't take with each other and nothing would come out of it. Because people like me say in the video that I did yesterday, Swallowfield is a known hotspot. Swallowfield is a known hotbed. And like the song say, Swallowfield, it is going to be the battlefield. So therefore, Swallowfield has been railing up over a couple of decades. But it kind of get cold. However, you understand, like I've always said, these garrisons, they are like a volcano. One minute them dormant, the next minute them erupt. It is like a revolving door of calm, tranquility, and then chaos and catastrophe. So people, I say this to say that these youths in this era has been railing up for years and years. They are always going tit for tat. They are always taking out each other. And then there is always some sort of reprisal or retaliation. So people, this is not anything new. Now people, like I said, Richard Green, the man that took with Richard, Robert Sarah Fletcher. He was out on bail for murder at the time of the shootout on Trafalgar Road. So therefore people, a known murderer is out on bail and out murdering somebody else. So people have to ask the question, is there something fundamentally wrong, flawed with the system in Jamaica wherein somebody that is unknown, a serial takeaway person is out on bail? And then while he's out on bail, he is doing the same thing in which they held him for on several occasions. Because people like me say, there's at least two documented bodies on his name. However, he is still on bail. 
So I want to ask the question, the persons, the relevant authorities that are in this decision-making process, the lawmakers in Jamaica, how is it that you are monitoring, overseeing a system that is full of all sorts of wicked criminal? However, you keep letting them in, letting them out. It is like a revolving door. One day they are in, the next day they are out. And while they are out, they are not being properly monitored. Because the truth and the fact is that if somebody from the probation or in release was checking in the ear and asking any sorts of question, they would have known that he was not, he did not change. He was not an altar boy. He was no saint. He was out doing the same thing. Now, people, when this incident happened, it is said that two persons lost their life. Richard Green and the next person, unknown person, he is said to be from De La Vega City. So people, we saw that Mr. Richard, he recruited a couple of other thugs to come and do his mission. And like me say, Robert Fletcher got a warning. He got a message that he needs to pay some sort of extortion money. And the latest request he need for send on him told I am speaking about his legal fire piece. So people, he thought that it was Richie Poe. However, it was the Richie that was his neighbor. That is somebody that he probably knew from he was a little boy. I got some sort of basic school. So people, who would have thought? Because people remember, this bar is a place that is well been known. These same criminals, them go and them play a pole. Them listen to all sorts of music. Them drink this, them drink that. Sometimes I am more than likely sure that they did not pay because like I said Robert was a good youth and him understand how the garrison go people want to drink people want to listen to music however people don't have any sorts of money however it is a part of the trade so therefore he make it slide for the most part however this youth Robert Fletcher he was a good youth he was a hard working youth and like me said people before the father the same thing in a swallowfield lost his life the brother, maybe about a decade ago, 2011, he lost his life the same way a gunman. And people, fast forward, 72 hours ago, Robert Fletcher once again. So people, at the end of the day, it shows you why Jamaica is the way that it is because of the flaw in the system and mostly because of the mentality, the lazy mentality, the evilest mentality of these youth that call themselves Shatter and call themselves Dan. Now people like me say, Swallowfield is a place that I know. I know the real people them that was doing all sorts of stuff. Before this Richard Green and them started to rail up. The youth that was running the place and I am not going to give any sorts of name. He is now presently in England, living in England as an English resident. People like me say, some of them coming at the system and that youth also lost his father. However, like me said, him used to monitor the place. It was running more smoothly. Now, people, I am not idolizing or glorifying any sorts of danship. Me just I say, there is chaos and catastrophe when these young youths are in any sorts of era. So, people, I say this to say that had the government, the relevant authority, been doing their job and monitoring these garrisons, these people could not have the opportunity to be a scully around the place like them say. And people will see what happened when the wrong people is running the place. Whenever you put power in the wrong hands, we are speaking about disaster. And people, that is the case in this case. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.